red gills on a fish or gasping at the top of the water, to me, most times, that's going to be oxygen deprivation, which means we don't have enough oxygen in the water, which isn't a super likely scenario. So what I mean by that is like nine times out of 10, it's not that we don't have enough oxygen. One out of 10 times, it actually is true, right? But being one out of 10 people, so one out of 10 people that will say like, oh, my fish is at the top of the water. I know one out of 10 of them legit won't have enough oxygen. Nine out of the other 10, they could have gill flukes going on, could just be a fish being weird, could be ammonia, or they got ammonia burn. That's very common when fish get shipped. Ammonia builds up in the bag, burns their gills, and it basically... Like, what happens when a fish gets ammonia burn? And this is a very simplistic, um, very simplistic look at this. So I realize it's more complicated than this, but think of like ammonia burns in a bag or even in a tank is like someone smoking for a long time. Their lung capacity just goes down. It's not that they can't breathe anymore. It's that when you've got to go walk to the top of the hill, they're huffing, they're puffing because their lungs have to work harder to get the same amount of oxygen. And that's what happens when we burn gills on fish. When they get really red and inflamed, they're showing that they have received some damage. And just the way at which they function, they've got all these little like, I don't know, like almost little fingers on the... This is getting te more technical than I know. I know when I look at a slide, I know what they are, but I can't remember the names. Basically, you've got like part of a, a gill that comes down, and they've got all these little fingers that come out. And these fingers, once they get damaged, those were the things that actually brought in the oxygen and did the transfer, right? And so once we start damaging those, we limit how, or we're limiting how much comes in for the amount of effort being spent. And so that's what goes on. When you have a fish up gasping, usually it's from ammonia burn, or there's not enough oxygen there, so the same amount of work they were doing is no longer giving them the amount of oxygen they need could also be a stress thing if it got really hot in there. When we elevate temperatures, it's not so much that the water doesn't hold as much oxygen. That is a true statement. It doesn't hold as much. But the difference between, like, I'm going to use this Diet Coke. So the water at 78, let's say it can hold a full can. The water at 90 degrees holds one ounce less. So it is less, but it's so little less that it's almost irrelevant and this is from my own personal testing uh so it holds a lot of oxygen still it doesn't go down that dramatic now if it was at 200 degrees sure but all our fish are dead but in the range at which our fish live the difference in oxygen is so small that it's usually not a temperature thing that being said here's where temperature does play a big part by getting it really hot we speed up the metabolism. We, the fish might be hyperventilating, and that itself is stressful, and using, they're using up energy and needing more oxygen, right? So it's kind of like someone who's you know, really freaking out. They need more oxygen. They need to sit down, and they need to take deep breaths and breathe. And if you have a little bit of less oxygen in the water and they're extra exerted, you know, they're really hot, and they're hiking to the top of that mountain, they really need to sit down and make sure they get a lot of oxygen. Now we can compound that by having meds in the water where that's, you know, like Pemafix and Melafix, they'll actually coat some gills on bettas and that kind of stuff. It can actually be harmful to them. So there's all these things, right, that can come into play. And that's what we need to be looking for. Fish gasping, let's look at ammonia, let's look at oxygen, let's try and examine, yes, could it be gill flukes? Yes, but that usually takes a gill clipping or something like that to really identify did they get ammonia burned? Are they new to you? You got to play a detective of like, why today and why now are they doing this and they weren't doing it before? It's either because they were new or we've had an environmental change in that aquarium most likely. There's very few fish that will really like dig into um, gills and that kind of stuff. So usually it's not an injury from a fish fight or something like that. It can be, uh, but it, parasite, ammonia, oxygen. So...